friends, Cole Chance here. Thank you so much for joining me today uh, with Om Yoga Tribe. And I just wanted to do a creative flow and maybe you'll come back to this video several times. And I just want to you to really feel water-like. So really think, well, kind of release some of the sharp edges, maybe release some of the alignment-based stuff, and really want you to feel into the body. So we'll go over this sequence a couple times, and you can come back to this video as much as you'd like and see how it changes as you go. And again, really tap into that water element. Uh, fluidity, rolling with things that are new, things that are changing so this quality is really important to have in our life so really try to embody that while we move today and be patient with yourself and it'll be beautiful we're just going to move and breathe so let's come to the top of the mat pushing down into the earth with the feet and lifting up through the crown of the head Lift up also on the kneecaps and in and up on the belly. Pull the heart forward. And then again, connect with the feet, pushing down into the earth. Lifting up through the crown, so extending in both directions. Breathing. Inhale, let the arms come up. And exhale, begin to fold forward. Inhale, we're going to roll all the way up. So let the chin come into the chest and take a couple rounds of breath. The vertebrae will begin to stack and then let the arms come up as the head lifts. And exhale, hands to heart center. Again, like that. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, we fold forward. Knees are bent and soft. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, tuck the chin to the chest. As you push into the earth, let the arms hang. Inhale, look up as the arms come up and hands to heart center. Hands come up, hips go back. Let's bring the fingertips together and we're gonna move the heart forward and arch the back and then exhale round the back, sink the hips lower. Now I'm kind of curling the chin in here and then I'll arch, so you're finding a little bit of wave. Mm -hmm. Inhale, the heart comes forward, and then exhale, you sink. The hands can move forward, the chin tucks. Inhale, come up, the heart opens, and exhale, sit back and round the back. So it's kind of like cat-cow in a chair pose. Inhale, and then exhale, we come all the way down, forward fold. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the toes. Chin comes into the chest. You're really pushing the ground away. We'll wave forward into plank pose. Now we're gonna bring the belly lower than we normally would. Leave the toes tucked. We're gonna do a floating cobra. So you push the heels back, pull the heart forward and push down into the earth. If you pull up on your belly, it'll protect the low back. Now we're gonna drop the knees from here. Begin to round the back, come into a child's pose with the toes tucked. Take a full round of breath. Inhale, come forward into cow pose. So drop the belly, gaze up. And exhale, downward facing dog. So let's do that again. Inhale, we come up onto the toes, wave the torso forward, push the ground away, really have an arch in the back. And then we bring the belly towards the ground, send the heels back, heart comes forward, belly is in and up. Now we bring the knees down. 
So the toes stay tucked this whole time. Begin to round the back. Child's pose. So we'll move, keep moving right on in here. Inhale, with a rounded back, we come up, unwind, cow pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. So fun little salutation there. Inhale to the toes, listen. Heels come all the way down towards the right, bend the knees. We're gonna to begin to shift the weight into the right hand. Let the left arm kind of hang here. And we're slowly going to open the arm up. Bring the hand towards the top of the mat. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips towards the heels. The arm can come down. Inhale, you press into the legs, the arm comes up. And exhale down. Once more, inhale up. And exhale, waving down. Inhale, come up. And all the way back around, downward facing dog. Same thing, other side. Come up onto the toes and drop the heels. Bend the knees. Begin to bring the weight into the right hand. The left hand is kind of just hanging here. And then slowly open up. And then the arm comes towards the top. Exhale, sink the hips towards the heels. Inhale, push and lift. Really pushing the ground away. Exhale. Inhale, push and lift. And once more. It's really nice on the side body. Inhale, push and lift. Downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts up. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, round the back as you come forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round the back as you come forward. So we're getting a lot of different spinal movement. Plant the back heel. Tuck the chin to the chest and we're gonna rise up like you're unwinding. Inhale, open, cactus the arms. The heart moves up and forward as the armpits, the elbows, everything moves back, so there's a little back bend here. Exhale, wave the arms back. Inhale, press into the legs and lift all the way up into crescent lunge, so big push. Take a moment here, reaching up, sinking hips low. Open up. Warrior two. Inhale, wave back. Reverse warrior. And exhale, come all the way back down. Downward facing dog. Inhale, we'll do this little sequence. Wave the body forward into floating cobra. So the hips come below, pull the belly in. Heels are back, gaze is up. Drop the knees, round the back as you come back, child's pose. Inhale, begin to wave forward, round the back, and then unwind into cow pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, bring it knee to nose, push the ground away, really curled in here. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round the back, and we'll step all the way through in between the thumbs. Drop the back knee. So again, we're curled in here, and we'll slowly unwind and cactus the arms like you're peeling open the heart. The heart comes up and back, gazing up. Exhale, wave the hands back. Now we're gonna push into the earth, lift up into crescent lunge. And then exhale, sink the hips. So take a moment, just feeling strong here, feeling the heat of the prana. And then let's open up warrior two. Inhale here, exhale, sink a little lower and then flip the front palm, inhale up and back. 
and exhale all the way back down. Downward facing dog. Once more with this vinyasa waving forward into floating cobra. Unwind the heart. Exhale, drop the knees as you round into child's pose. Exhale. Inhale, round. And then about halfway up, unwind, unfurl the heart, open up, inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, step through in between the hands. This time we'll curl up into crescent lunge the same way. So begin to round the back. Bring the hands up. Let's take a couple rounds of breath to do it. So we're moving really slow. Inhale, unwind. Cactus the arms and gaze up. Exhale, warrior two. Now look, we're going to wave the hands back towards the back of the mat. The back knee bends, the front leg will straighten. So warrior two, we swoop towards the back of the mat, rainbow warrior. Inhale, we come forward, change the feet, crescent lunge. Let's try that again. Come into warrior two. Exhale, sweep it towards the back of the mat, rainbow warrior. Inhale, come forward, crescent lunge, beautiful. Exhale, let's twist, so looking towards the back, arms are wide, belly in. The more you pull back on the right hip, you can twist around. And then drop the back hand, and we'll inhale up and back. This should feel really nice on the front side of the left thigh. Plant the hand, the left hand down. The right arm will come up, and this front foot, we're just going to walk it back a little bit. And then drop the back heel, so we're in the side plank variation. Bring the arm towards the top. Exhale, begin to sink the hips, kind of like we did in the beginning. And then inhale, lift. Push and lift. We'll just do it twice. Exhale, sink the hips. And then push and lift. Come back around. Come all the way up and back, tripod down dog. Exhale, knee to nose, listen up. Fall in triangle, we're gonna kick the foot underneath the body. Come onto the right hand, drop the back heel, lift the left arm up. So you can stay right here or bend the front leg and send the hips forward and then you can reach back. Yeah. And then plant the hand the same way we came in, pull the leg, downward facing dog. Different, fun. We'll get it in the body. Let's just wave forward to rinse out. And then bend the knees and wave back. Inhale, left leg lifts. Let's try it on the other side. Exhale, step it through in between the hands. Tuck the chin, so we're slowly going to roll up. So see, I kind of puff the back here to begin. Slowly going to roll up. And begin to cactus the arms as the heart moves up and forward. The back is arching, almost like the sacrum and the head are coming towards each other, gazing up. Exhale. I'll open up warrior two. So we'll move into rainbow warrior here. So we kind of swoop, I kind of swoop this back arm forward and back, whoops, kind of forward and back, it's hard to do it slow, kind of like you're pushing things to the back of the mat. And then inhale, I'm bending both my knees, coming in to crescent lunge. Let's try that again. Warrior two, rainbow warrior, sweep towards the back of the mat, inhale, come forward, Crescent lunge. Now we're going to take a twist. So begin to pull back on the left hip and reach towards the back. So if you don't have enough room to reach or this isn't feeling good, you can take the left hand on the hip and also just look back. Mm -hmm. 
The more you pull up on the pelvic floor and the belly, the more stability you'll have. The back hand goes to the back thigh. Inhale, up and back, so we're exalted warrior. Maybe sink the hips a little bit more. One more inhale. And exhale, plant the right hand. Spin all 10 toes over towards the left. So you might wanna walk this foot back a little bit. Both feet are strong and flexed. The arm comes towards the top of the mat. This feels really nice on the outer hip. So inhale is here. And then exhale, we sink the hips gaze back. Once more, inhale, push and lift. And exhale, sink down. Inhale, push and lift all the way around. Tripod down dog. The leg comes up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back, and now fall in triangle. So the foot comes underneath. Be sure it's flexed. Take the back heel on the ground as we lift up. Lots of these little different side balances. If you'd like a little bit more, you can bend that front leg. The sole of the foot comes on the ground and the hip comes high. You can reach, maybe take a big circle with the arm. Big extension. To come out, we just plant the hand, pull the knee into the chest, and come into downward facing dog. It's wave forward plank pose. Come all the way into that floating cobra. So the heels are pushing back, heart is moving forward. Bring the knees, untuck the toes. And let's take a child pose for a moment, eh? Coming back into the breath, slow and steady. Hmm. So we'll do this again once on each side. So just find that movement, that um, the linking of the poses. So allow the inhales and the exhales to begin to link everything together. So it becomes like a dance. Maybe it doesn't feel so dancey uh, the second time around, or maybe not even the third or the fourth, but be patient with yourself and your body learning new things. So let's Try it again, shall we? Take the hands down. Downward facing dog. All right. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, step in between the hands. We we'll begin to round the back. Inhale, lift. We'll take a couple of rounds of breath to get where we're going. And second inhale, open up, heart open. And then exhale, let's warrior two. Inhale here. And then exhale, rainbow warrior. Sweep it towards the back of the mat. Sink the hips low. And then inhale, come forward. Crescent lunge. Beautiful. Exhale, take the left hand to the ground. We open up. Maybe this front foot comes back. And then inhale, push the ground away, lift the hips high, the arm reaches twice. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, push and lift. Exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, push and lift. Plant the hand. Tripod down dog. Exhale, knee towards the chest. Fall in triangle, take it out underneath. Come onto the right hand. Push and lift again. Maybe bending the front leg, taking this kind of sundial-ish feeling pose. And then we exhale, plant the hand. Bring the knee into the chest. Replace the foot, downward facing dog. Let's take the full little vinyasa here. Inhale, wave forward rounded back all the way into floating cobra inhale exhale take the knees down begin to round the back into child's pose on an inhale we come up rounded but then unwind into cow 
and exhale, downward facing dog. One round of breath here, inhale. And sigh out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, round the back as you move forward and plant the foot. So slowly here, begin to round the back and begin to come up. So it's like you're drawing energy from the earth. And begin to slowly unwind. Heart moves forward, gaze up, inhale. Exhale, we open up, warrior two. Take a round of breath here in. And then exhale, rainbow warrior towards the back of the mat. Sweep everything back. And then inhale, move forward, crescent lunge, really strong in the pelvic floor and the belly. And exhale, the left hand, sorry, the right hand plants. All 10 toes go towards the left. Maybe you walk that left foot back. Push and lift to reach the hand towards the top of the mat. Exhale, sink the hip. Inhale, push and lift. Exhale. And inhale, come all the way around, plant the hand. Tripod down dog, up and back. And exhale, knee to the nose, fall in triangle. Plant the back heel. Inhale, push and lift. Bend the front knee, put the uh, sole of the foot on the ground as you reach the hips forward and the head, the heart, and the hand come back. This is one of my favorite poses, favorite new poses. Inhale here. And exhale, plant the hand. Knee to chest, downward dog. So one more vinyasa here. Inhale, wave forward all the way into Floating Cobra, heels move back as heart moves up and forward. Drop the knees, child's pose, exhale. Inhale, come forward, unwind for cow. And exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet towards the top of the mat and sink the hips down. Beautiful. Just bring the legs wide. Don't worry about getting them very, like as wide as you can. We're just kind of spreading, getting a little bit of opening in the legs and the hips here. Let's turn towards the right foot and begin to walk the hands down. Take the hands onto the fingertips. I just want to wave the spine here. So we're still working with that fluid movement. So the heart comes down, the heart moves before the head, and then the head comes down. Tuck the chin as you roll up. So it's the same wave that we did in the beginning. One more time. Really reaching the heart towards the toes as if you could make it all the way there. And then coming up to center. And we'll switch sides, same thing. So kind of turn to face the foot. Bring the fingers up onto the fingertips. And then exhale, begin to lead with the heart, not the head. Good thing to remember. Exhale, wave up. Inhale, pull the heart forward. You can like drag the fingertips back to pull the heart forward. Exhale, wave and lift. And again, drag the heart forward. And coming up. Come up to center. Take the hands underneath the knees, lift. Soles of the feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana. Not supta baddha konasana, baddha konasana. Supta is when you're laying down. If you'd like to lay down, you can do that as well. Inhale, pull the heart forward, gaze up. And exhale, let's take a forward fold. So if you have a block, it can be really nice to set the block down and lay the head in the block. 
You can also take your head in your hands. Or you can just let the head hang. But wherever you are, let the neck release. Just about three rounds of breath here. Make sure you're not holding the head up. And full exhale. And inhale, we'll just come to a seated position. Close the eyes down. Roll the shoulder blades back, heart forward. Just three rounds of breath. Really intentional, the most intentional of the day. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, feel it come in the nose, down the throat, into the chest and the belly. And exhale, coming out the same way. This time through the mouth. Once more, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. Mm. And feels nice. This is really similar to a practice that I do when I'm just on my own mat. So thank you for sharing a little self-practice with me. I've really been into this kind of serpentine fluid movement, more to kind of roll with what happens rather than trying to control things. And that's just the metaphor. It has nothing to do with uh, nothing to do with the other different styles of yoga. But it's so good to be able to move in and out, to move into different things, into new things, try on different sizes, and see what works for us. There's so many things that we may just be absolutely in love with that we don't know we're in love with yet because we're. We're attached to one certain thing. So I just hope that you take the idea of moving like water, of fluidity through your day, through your week, and see what can shift when you move along with instead of fighting or coming up against things um, that are different than the way that you think maybe they should be. So I hope you take that with you. Bring the hands together. Thumbs at the third eye. Let's bow forward to seal our practice, this beautiful practice of yoga. And together we say namaste. Hmm. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Um, again, Cole. Please um, head over to my website if you want to learn more about me. I also have longer practices, some hour-long practices for download there, and lots of info about myself and retreats and different things. So leave a comment. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you next time on your mat.